This creamy and smooth cheesecake is crustless. It doesn't require a water bath and is very easy to make at home. To make this delicious Basque cheesecake, we need cream cheese. Make sure to use full fat cream cheese and room temperature. See, it's so squishy. We also need sugar, three eggs that are also room temperature, heavy cream, yet again room temperature, cornstarch, and vanilla extract. First, we must preheat the oven to 420 degrees Fahrenheit. Prepare a six inch round pan with parchment paper. Let's make the batter. In a big bowl, add cream cheese. Use a spatula to stir it until it becomes very smooth. In order to bring the cream cheese to room temperature, you can take it out of the refrigerator for a couple of hours before starting baking or heat it in the microwave. Now that it's extravagantly smooth, let's add sugar and continue to stir it. Make sure there are no lumps. Now, my mom has made this as smooth as smooth can be, despite the extremely long and hard process of getting here. So now we can add the eggs one at a time. And we must mix it until like it's fully incorporated into the batter. Wow. So basically we want the result in which like we cannot see any of the yellow yolk that an egg has. Now it's time for our second egg. Okay, now that we've got like, most of the yellow gone, it's time for our third and final egg. Just like the cream cheese, eggs need to be room temperature as well before adding them to the batter. If you've forgotten to take them out of your fridge beforehand, you can place the eggs into a bowl of warm water for five to 10 minutes to bring them to room temperature. Wow, that's really smooth. Then we can just add some vanilla extract. Vanilla extract can add the flavors to the Basque cheesecake. It also helps to cut down the eggy taste of the three eggs we just added. I highly recommend using it, but it's really just optional. Now it's time to add the heavy cream. Again, it has to be room temperature. Slowly pour it, as we just saw my mom do, into the batter and mix it smoothly and well combined. Now it's time to add the cornstarch and mix just until combined. Oof, powdery stuff. When you're mixing it, it kind of looks like the asteroid belt in outer space, those little white floating chunks. Wow, this is really smooth. Now, I just need to pour it into the pan, but we're gonna use the sifter to help us remove any lumps we may have missed during the uh, stirring process. Wow, this is so smooth now. As you saw, saw my mom do, we tapped the pan several times to remove any potential air bubbles in the batter. To avoid spillage and a ginormous mess in the oven, we can place the cheesecake pan onto a large baking sheet. Now, we can move it to the preheated oven and bake for about 30 to 35 minutes. Put 
Put it into the oven, but be careful. The oven is extravagantly hot. Now the cheesecake top is brown in color and the center is still jiggly. Let the cheesecake cool completely in the pan on a wire rack until it is at room temperature. After two hours, the cheesecake will be cool. Cover it and put it in a refrigerator for at least four hours or overnight before serving. Refrigerating the cake several hours can help its flavor to fully develop and the middle of the cake to be set. When you're ready to serve, carefully peel back the parchment paper away from the cheesecake before slicing. Basque cheesecake is one of my favorite desserts. It is super creamy and so easy to make. Plus, you can serve it all year round. Thank you for watching.